this July 2023 I have packed for travel and I have not been in my home country for three and a half years that's gonna be nice it's gonna be a good break um, I look forward uh, to Norwegian campfire talk shit with my cousin see my brother and sister have coffee and then fly back out and go to Switzerland and then we'll be back in Chiang Mai Ooh, got through the baggage check-in. It's always a hassle when you do tech stuff with, uh, with YouTube and cameras and stuff. So, yeah, so it's not so uncommon to be checked more than others because at least my bags is always small tech stuff, especially cameras, batteries, and stuff like that. That was an amazing out of body experience. For the first time in three and a half years, four years? Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so by the flight, but fuck, I'm tired. I did not get to sleep properly on any other flights, so it's, um, I feel it in my brain and my mind and body, but you know, I've been in, the, in a fight before, endured, I made it. Um, it was a nice flight. Pretty amazed, like I said, with um, with the airport in uh, Turkey. That was uh, that was an experience. It's worth. I don't recommend it. It's actually worth buying a ticket to Turkey just to be at the airport and go home. All right, we ended up uh, tax free. Don't really care too much about this, but that's one thing I've been missing a lot. Is this the yellow chocolate? No, that's one of them. But that's been really nuts. That's how I feel now. So it could maybe be fitting, but. Um, Pure one. Um, yes. So this is the travel edition. Yeah. 
So I'm just gonna eat that all the way in here, all the way in here like that. Finally in Oslo, Norway. It's not too hot, so it's almost like a spring feeling. And she likes it too. Finally down in the city center. Certainly like getting back to a uh, completely different reality and city. This is certainly a city where I pay a lot more attention to, to uh, people. I always do that. I serve everyone and everything all the time. But like for example here now, There's noise and trouble right away, and we never see that in the, in the city we have chosen to, to live in now. You know, this uh, Oslo to me is shitty, noisy, and there's always uh, fights and screaming and beggars and, and drunk people, um, drunk addicts. And uh, for me it's a completely different um, vibe than I would prefer if I could choose my reality, right? That's why I enjoy the city of Chiang Mai. Good morning. Yeah, so we found this new coffee shop. Um, another chain of coffee shops that has been popping up here in the city since last time I was here. Bockstubit. I think it's a German thing. And uh, one thing I noticed is that um, compared to uh, some of the other coffee shops, for example, the uh, Swedish chain uh, Espresso House, you can get a coffee here for 22 Norwegian kroners. And that's actually super cheap. Some of you guys that, that have had a connection with me or follow me have, or have followed me for some time, you know that I don't like systems. I don't like politicians and I don't like governments. Um, and people have really low expectations for what that should be like. Right now I just came out from my bank here, this one. I left it many years ago because they were really not helpful, not really pleasant to be with. That's why I moved over to Revolut, which have been um, amazing for us. What happens right now for me here, I'm coming home to Norway. Uh, we need, uh, I mean, our plan was to pick up a rental car and I have a company I always used. But the thing is that the idea I need to be able to use any systems here in Norway now have been canceled because I have been away for some time. So I've been active and that's fine. Um, I can reactivate it. I went into my bank, but that takes three fucking weeks to do in Norway, uh, in this modern rich country. It takes three weeks, the guy told me here now, and uh, we're gone by that time. I understand that we need certain systems, you know, to uh, modernize and stuff, and that's always gonna happen. But in a country like this, which is famous for very slow political systems, and systems in general, uh, that kind of pisses me off, and it's kind of a confirmation why I'm not here. Combined with the prices we are experiencing now, combined with the intensity and the vibe of the kind of spiky vibe of the city yeah so it's nice to just be a, a tourist here and then get the hell out so we're sitting here at this um yeah pretty nice um restaurant coffee shop here in oslo in norway just by the castle the old castle and, uh, and the fortress um, 
here in the city center, just outside by the ocean coastline. Um, just looking at the, the trip, our, our, our plans, and um, because the next stop would be um, her country, her home city in Switzerland. So um, there are a few options, and um, we just want to check some prices. Probably going to spend uh, a few days at the hotel. <coughs> Yeah, so we found a solution. So instead of supporting uh, businesses here in Oslo for renting a car, uh, we came up with uh, we got a nice private offer, which I would rather support. Good manifestation. We got a car. My friend gets uh, a good amount of money, and we're free to travel again. So uh, but we're actually extending here now one night. So we're moving to another hotel, which is. Uh, pretty nice I've been there before I used them before a few times especially when we did film productions in Oslo here many years ago very nice reception some good information good place to stay now we're just about finding our room and actually crashed in bed for an hour then I got a client call in the United States um, and yeah work is fun too Things from up in the mountains of Norway we are finally at our kind of first destination our first stop real stop we wanted to spend time at visiting one of my family members her cabin finally have peace of mind great nature this is uh, Millie the tall wise uh, it's Freya actually reincarnated yeah. <laughs> this is um, staying at her cabin so showing us around today we're just doing some shopping for now we got uh, Tal Aldebari we met in the last video he's coming out with his family in about a couple of hours yeah so coming to Norway and do the shopping is of course not fun um, we are just right back into the Norwegian insane prices compared to the place that we live and you know to eat healthy in Norway um, it's like you're getting punished because that's going to cost even more
arrived uh, in Pyristal, Pyristal as it's called in my language. Pyristal Commune. Yeah, Pyristal. And it's staying bright. It's uh, beautiful weather, around 20 degrees, um, late summer in Norway. Um, so we wanted to come up here to do, um, just to see the boardwalk trail that's been built. It's, um, so I haven't seen too much pictures of it, but it's supposed to be a nice walk. So, I really yeah. enjoy it. It's in the middle of the forest, yeah. close to the lake. Yep. I love that. And now? It's actually a treetop walk and it's the first one in Norway. So there are resting areas on the way, okay nice, and at the top we get a super stunning view, I think, over the lake and over the uh, forest here, and there's even a campsite at the top. Hmm. So we walk for one kilometer up. Well, yeah. it says on the sign here, enjoy your walk amongst the treetops. We're gonna do that. Yeah, we're gonna do that. But no fire. Any form of open fire, fire or flame. It's prohibited. Hanya I can't walk in. No, you can't. Yeah. You're too hot. Yeah, I'm too hot. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. It's so nice to come back to Norwegian nature. I mean, it's like I said to people when they ask me if I miss Norway, and I said, no, I don't miss Norway. I don't miss the prices or the mindset or the people, except for a few in my um, immediate tribe. Uh, but the nature, you can't beat that. It's not the same in Thailand. You know, Thailand is nice and we love it. The lifestyle is wonderful, <clears throat> but um, jungle is not the same as the kind of rough, raw Norwegian nature. Light up here is different too, so 